Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy DT3, man, and I'm big at you with another video, man. New media notification game. Gold Squad. That's what it is, man. Look, check this out here, Playboy. So, seems like we got another little fuckboy that tends to think because he has a particular subscription base that he has the right and yet can create the audacity to verbally attack the pound for pound king and the Terrence Crawford. Okay? So, showbiz. Let me tell you right now, bro. You out of bounds. You out of bounds completely and utterly out of bounds so let's 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 just give this some validity here showbiz the bitch adult says look here kendrick now first off why you got to get at him like that bro who the fuck are you showbiz how many how many how many world title belts you been in bro how, how many world titles you got, bro? How many championships you got, bro? It's funny how you niggas built this, these followings, built these subscription bases, and think because you have a following or a subscription, that gives you the audacity to talk shit about other motherfuckers. I don't need a subscription to talk shit. I'm going to have the same energy at subscription one as I got at subscriber number motherfucking 9,400 and whatever the fuck. Okay? So for you to get your light, bright, piss-colored, beady-eyed bitch ass on this goddamn internet shit and call yourself trying to talk shit to the pound-for-pound pound king on behalf of what he think, what he wants in a Canelo fight, you got life fucked up, show bitch. All the way. Okay? So, show bitch, check this out. You ain't got no right to talk shit about him because I'm sure there's other motherfucker fighters you ain't had that same energy for. But all of a sudden, because Crawford wanted to dare to be great and change greatness, you ain't had that. You ain't got nothing to say. But I bet you when it was Jamel Charlo, your bitch ass was all for that. Your beady eyed ass was all for that shit. Then you want to sit up there and talk shit and say, if we want us to support his vision, he don't need us to support his vision. He don't need us for that. Do you know how many fights that people have been so in support of us that ain't never fucking happened, you dumb fuck? Why you sitting there blowing smoke out your piss colored ass? Sometimes some motherfuckers need to sit down and shut the fuck up. Because y'all get on this YouTube shit and think because you got subscribers that you got the right to talk shit about niggas who paved the way. And if these niggas ain't doing shit what they doing, you ain't got shit to talk about. This is the shit I'm talking about. You niggas get beside yourself. Beside your Ain't no way, bro. Now, if Terrence was saying some fraudulent shit, if Terrence is saying some fuck shit, if he wasn't daring to be great, he's clout chasing motherfuckers. He really ain't trying to fight Canelo. He just using Canelo name like most niggas do to gain some fame or amass some clout. Then okay. I understand. But Terrence really want that smoke, bitch. Show bitch the goddamn hoe. That nigga Terrence want the goddamn smoke, show bitch. So why the fuck is you bringing your light bright piss color bitch ass on here and trying to talk shit to the pound for pound king and the Terrence Crawford, Nick? Huh? I ain't gonna read what the fuck the nigga said. Y'all see the shit right here. And this nigga show bitch decides he wants to get at this nigga and talk shit to this nigga. No good and hell well, show bitch. You ain't nowhere near half the man that Terrence Bud Crawford is and or would be. So for you to all of a sudden get your, because I'm, I'm sure you didn't say nothing to Ryan Gar bitch ass Sid when he disrespected your people. You ain't saying shit to Tia, Tia Ho Fimo when he disrespect your people, but you want to talk shit to Terrence Crawford. Show bitch, you was a whole ass nigga. I been called you a bitch. I called you a bitch nigga about three, four years ago, nigga, and your whole ass hopped on motherfucking Instagram talking about, brother, brother, come on, brother, we got all, we, we supposed to be back. Nigga, fuck you, show bitch. Fuck you. And the horse your hoe ass rode in on. 
I'm so sick of you niggas doing this fuck shit on the goddamn internet and then ain't nobody coming forth and checking you bitch ass niggas. Sit your whole ass down. Sit down. Since you want to say the intimidation approach is laughable and all that shit, nigga, your whole life is laughable. Nigga, the way that you is is laughable. Nigga, your existence is laughable, nigga. One thing I will never do for you two, which your bitch ass did do, is compromise my integrity or compromise my character for fighters. That's what your bitch ass do. You compromise. You're going to do whatever white zaddy tell you. I'm sure you just send a few of the motherfuckers up close too. Because you're going to do whatever white zaddy tell you. You want some subscribers? I, whatever you say, white zaddy. Whatever you say. You a bitch ass nigga, bro. Been that. Been called you that. Been called your bitch ass out on it. And still, to this day, you still doing bitch nigga shit. Still. Terrence don't got to show you nothing. In my personal humble opinion, he didn't did enough by being undisputed in two different weight divisions, bro. Working on the third. Like, what more do niggas need to see? Canelo ain't uh, going undisputed in multiple weight divisions. Who is going undisputed in multiple weight divisions aside for Terrence Crawford, Alexander Usyk, and Monster Inoue? Who? Who is really chasing greatness, show bitch? Because it ain't you. You ain't chasing shit great. Because you ain't a great motherfucker you got damn self. But that's neither here nor there. But who who else is doing what Terrence Crawford and Alexander Usyk and Monster Inoue has done? Who else? Because I, I get it. Somebody going to say Usyk gave up his IBF. Blah, 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 blah. The whole point is, is Usyk not a two-time undisputed champion? Two divisions. Is he not that? Is he not that? Don't worry. I'll wait. <laughs> Is Monster Renew not uh, undisputed in multiple weight classes? But here we are. We got this nigga coming forth, blowing smoke. Blowing smoke. Check this out, show bitch. Let me scroll this up real quick. Check this out, show bitch. You get no love. You get no respect. Mm. Help you out. You get no love. You get no respect over here. You ain't nothing but a clout chasing, light skinned, bitch ass, piss colored nigga. You been that since you been on here. You constantly flipping the narrative. You constantly changing, moving the goalposts, everything to suit your own personal narrative. And I've been going at niggas like you since I've been on YouTube. And ain't not near one of you niggas. Not one. Not you. Not 78. Not BFTB. Not bitch ass punch drunk. Uh, uh, Blue Buds. None of you niggas. Not one. Fanny Nanny. None of you niggas. None of y'all got the heart to challenge what the fuck I'm saying and or prove me wrong. I don't want to hear about niggas clout chasing, bro. I don't need you for clout. I'm DT3, the motherfucking boom man. I am the clout. How many times have I said that shit for years? I don't need you niggas for clout. There's so many other things I could possibly speak about or talk about that I don't have shit to do with boxing and still amass a certain level of clout on this YouTube shit because I'm just that nigga. But I choose to talk about boxing because, number one, that's what people want to hear from with me because that's what got me to where I'm at was talking about boxing. So I'm going to keep that same energy. Talking about boxing, talking about you fraudulent motherfuckers that are a part of the sport of boxing. And showbiz, the bitch ass adult, you one of these fraudulent hoe ass, bitch ass, dick in the booty, quick to change the narrative and fit your narrative ass niggas. So guess what, show bitch? Say something else. Say some more fuck shit. Say some more hoe shit. You and that bitch ass nigga punch drunk. Fuck Mr. Moonshine. Fuck both of you niggas. Because both of you niggas is obviously getting beside yourself when it comes to this YouTube shit. I don't want nobody to say, well, you doing this because you... I'm going to do... Somebody got to do it. Somebody got to call these niggas. Ain't none of you niggas saying who who going to call me out.
Since all y'all quit to say all this shit without it, who gonna call me out? Who gonna come test my theory? It ain't gonna be showbiz. It ain't gonna be punch drunk. None of you niggas. Yeah, punch drunk might say some shit about probably like black and brown. He might say some shit about like major key or some shit like that. He might say something about them niggas. And I ain't saying it like to diss them. They're my peoples. Yeah, you'll talk about, you ain't gonna say shit about me. But you're gonna talk shit about how black folks keep going against their own. But uh, black and brown is Latin. He Latino. Major key is Latino. So how are you talking shit about African Americans constantly going at their own when you doing the same goddamn thing? So show bitch, say something else. Say something else. You, you know where my Twitter, I ain't hard to find. You will be tagged. You will be, nigga, your name is in the title, bro. Niggas know who the fuck I'm talking about. They don't got to assume. <laughs> they know. I'm talking about the show bitch. The whole ass adult. You know where to find me, bro. You know where I'm at. If you got a problem, nigga, pull up. Or or your or your subscription base requires you to be too Hollywood. You know, pride cometh before fall. So since y'all y'all pride, I ain't gonna say nothing. You know, he, he, he cloud chasing me. I don't need you for cloud. I don't have to make this video to get views. That's what y'all fail to realize. I'm making this video because I got sent this by a friend of mine who wants me to do a video about what the fuck your ass said. So guess what? For my subscription base, I oblige them. Because they are asking me to speak. The fans, the subscribers, they want me to speak about this type of shit. That's why they send me this shit. I ain't looking for this. I ain't even, Nicole Party would make this shit funny. Guess what? For anybody that think I got on Twitter, right, and saw this and decided to make a video, guess what? DT3, the boom man, in Twitter jail. I've been in Twitter jail for four years now. I'm locked up. Ain't no Twitter game for me, buddy. If you don't believe me, look me up. Look me up. See? And see if my page pop up. And if it do pop up, when was the last time I tweeted? Because I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. Was on Snapchat, but I said fuck Snapchat. But I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Threads. Why would I not be on Twitter when all you niggas is on Twitter talking that bullshit on Twitter? I should be on that bitch too. I bet you if I was on that motherfucker, it'd be crickets. Because I'd have caught this shit, I'd have cut shot have got that your ass so smooth on motherfucker Twitter show, bitch. Wouldn't have been no game. You and that nigga Sugar Free O'Malley. It's a lot. It's it's a lot. It's a it's a lot of sass, as as the modern women say nowadays. It's a lot of you sassy niggas on the internet, boy. A lot of you sassy niggas, boy. Sassy. Show bitch, you one of them. I ain't never had respect for you, cuz. Not never. So check this out, bro. See this this whole cause see you like to play gangster. You like to the, the intimidation. He ain't intimidate you, bro. He ain't trying to intimidate you. It's Terrence Crawford. What the fuck your bitch ass gonna do to Terrence Crawford? What can you do to Terrence Crawford, show bitch? What can you do? You really think this nigga really trying to intimidate you? Who are you? You came at him. He just responded. So it's easy to talk tough. That's all I know. There's a lot of you niggas love talking tough. Y'all some internet gangster niggas. Y'all internet gangsters. Show bitch, you an internet gangster. Punch drunk, you an internet gangster. You niggas ain't about that action, boss. Internet gangsters. Internet thugs. Get on the internet and start talking shit about the pound for pound chair. Mm. What kind of shit is this? What are we doing here? Is that, that, that's what we doing in 2024? Okay. 
Keep talking, show bitch. I'm watching you. And if and if I don't catch it, my subscribers will catch you. And they'll send me some shit. Let this be a lesson and a notice to all you content creators on YouTube. And ain't not near one of you niggas is safe from me. Near one. Keep doing this shit. And I'm going to keep making video glory. And keep and, and try to rebuttal. I want one of you niggas to try to rebuttal me. Oh, I, I want the smoke. Because all you niggas is, is on some whole nigga shit. Whole nigga shit. And watch when it comes to a certain fighter. Watch how your ass ain't going to be saying the same shit. Let me find out. Let me find out. And after this video is out, it's going to be some subscriber that's going to see this video and it's going to show me when you was on some bitch ass nigga shit. And guess what, show bitch? When I see that video or I see that tweet or I see that post, uh, I'm on your motherfucking neck because, oh, by the way, I got your Instagram. So I'll be sending this link to your Instagram so you can, so I know you seen this shit directly. So it won't be no confusion. Because motherfuckers tend to think I ain't no real ass nigga out here when I talk shit about you niggas. Oh no, just in case you decide to act like you didn't see it, I'm going to go to your Instagram personally and send this video to you. So it won't be no confusion. And I'm going to let you know what I really think. Think I'm lying? Wait and see. What?